Since we're talking applique, I'm going to show you a stitch that I discovered many years ago, and this is my favorite applique stitch. Now, it's not going to look like an applique stitch at all, and you'll never find it written up into anything. Stitch number 19 is, again, in the stretch category of stitches, but my previous job was with Bernina of America, and my job was to sit at sewing machines and play, make them do things that they were not supposed to do. Now, I found this much later in my career, but when I started playing with the stitches, manipulating their width and their length, this became my new favorite stitch. We're gonna take this stitch and make it just a little bit wider than what it was originally set for. Uh, right now, it's set for a width of four and make it shorter so it compacts it down into a satin stitch. Since we're doing a little applique around this heart, let me go ahead and show you what we're talking about. It, it has a kind of a mountain type look to it. And just by positioning it over the raw edge, you're satin stitching it, but you're giving it a little bit more oomph to it. I'm gonna do a little twisting needle down here and roll that through. And this truly covers up the raw edge better than a blanket stitch. Okay. And I would normally use my presser foot lifter. I'm just not in the position right now to do that with the way the machine is positioned, but that is my, my, uh, my friend. I almost can't live without it there. All right, a few more stitches and then I'll show you what we're looking at here. Okay, look at that stitch. It's so nice and smooth and gives it just a little bit more uh, pizzazz than just a traditional blanket stitch. So it has two stitches that are short, then two stitches that are tall, and two stitches that are short. And then it repeats. And that's why there's a little bit more stitching in between those tall ones. You don't find this stitch on very many machines, but it is on this machine starting at the Bernina 350. 